hello friends welcome to our youtube channel today in this video we will see about the medium carbon steel so the use of medium carbon steel in the different places like rail structures or spring steel so basically the fourth components such as agricultural implements have been carbon content around 0.3 to 0.5% after hot forging the components are air cooled so the process is hot forged plus air cooled so the final microstructure is fine ferrite and perlite mixture so the real structurals in which this medium carbon steel is used most are like the structural parts used by the railway such as rails, wheels, wheel tire and axles are either forged or hot rolled and have a carbon content around 0.5 to 0.6 percentage so the higher level of carbon combined with the about 1 percent of MN lead the eruptite composition sufficiently to a yield of mostly perlitic structure mostly perlitic structure ok so the lowering of the transformation temperature by MN because of addition of MN the transformation temperatures lowers and which results in finer perlite ok because we have seen in the TTT diagram like this temperature time diagram if the curve is like this then if the temperature is lowered a lot so here we got the coarse perlite and in this region we got the fine perlite okay so this is how we got the fine perlite the lowering of the transmission temperature by M results in a finer perlite that we have seen from this curve also now we will see that the uh, weight loss due to the wear as a function of hardness so the wear as a function of hardness and interlaminar spacing and interlaminar spacing okay in perlite So this is the diagram, this is the weight loss in gram and here the hardness. So this is Brinell hardness. Okay. So first the curve follows this trend. So that means the weight loss increases as the hardness is increasing. Okay. Uh, sorry, actually this is the not Brinell hardness. This is perlite spacing curve. Okay in micron so here we can observe as the weight loss is uh, increasing as the interlaminar spacing is increasing as the uh, perlite will be a finer size like this one so the weight loss will also decrease so this curve shows that the weight loss due to wear of rail steels decreases with the decreasing interlaminar spacing of perlite okay and if you see this weight loss versus hardness that is brain hardness so that will this curve will follow this kind of trend that means the weight loss due to wear of real steels decreases with increasing hardness of steel okay so weight loss in grams this is decreasing with increasing of hardness value okay now we will see the spring steel spring steel so spring steels have carbon content in the range of 0 0.5 to 0.6 percent also they are quenched and tempered quenched and tempered so quenching is student to get a high level of yield strength that spring must possess a high resilience property 
also that is the quality of a good spring industry it must be capable of storing a large amount of elastic energy so that it can spring back without any permanent deformation so the quality of this uh, uh, resilience can be achieved by less strength by this by so this is should be maximized for this purpose okay so the young modulus is by and this is the yield strength so the yield strength upon young modulus should be the maximum value so the young modulus by being a structure insensitive property insensitive property a large increase in the yield strength is the key to achieve a high resilience okay so large increase in the yield strength sigma y is the key factor to achieve a high resilience okay so this is about the quenching and all the process now tempering so what is the purpose of the tempering in this spring steel so tempering is done to give a high yield strength of about 1500 mpa okay now we will see the effect of alloying element and spring steel so the alloying element and spring steel have several functions so they increase the hardenability okay so that the martensite is obtained without resorting the drastic quenching the presence of silicon alloying element is silicon so that serves the purpose of retarding softening during tempering okay so that the residual stresses are relieved without much loss in hardness and strength okay vanadium vanadium prevents grain coarsening grain coarsening during austenitization and improves the toughness of the steel and a finer grain size and one more property that fine grain size and prevents it of decarburization during heat treatment ensures a good fatigue strength okay so this is all about the today's video i spring steel and real structures so this is basically the type of medium carbon steel so please stay connected and uh, like share subscribe our youtube channel and thank you